I move my eyes. Clarkson stares at something. And Christy is a feminine Jack Frost. The holidays had arrived on Sodor. The engines and Autobots always enjoyed this time of year. They also didn't mind the cold because the engines had toasty hot fireboxes to keep them and their crews warm. One afternoon, Krusty, the small kind engine, was at the China Clay Pits with Bill and Ben when Sir Topham had arrived. Krusty? He said, I want you to help Brad deliver extra coal for the towns at the stations. A massive blizzard is coming tonight, so I want you two to try to keep to your schedules. Yes, sir. Said Christy, as Topham had left. Bill and Ben smirked. You and Brad better hurry, said Bill, or scary Jack Frost might get you, added Ben. Don't be silly, said Christy. Jack Frost is not scary. Percy caught it once, said Bill. James was terrified by him, laughed Ben. Christy giggled and puffed away. But secretly, she was rather nervous. That evening, Christy arrived at the coaling plant to find Brad already there, waiting for her. She told him about what Bill and Ben said earlier. Those cheeky old sorts are just trying to wind you up, Christy, said Brad. That's what Thomas did to Percy when he first mentioned Jack Frost. Christy smiled. She knew the autistic loco was right. Then, both Brad and Christy set off into the night. As Christy trundled along, she could stop thinking about what Bill and Ben had told her earlier. Don't listen to them, Christy. She told herself. But they're just talking rubbish. The cold wind blew against Christy's face as she went. Meanwhile, Brad puffed along his route. Stupid Bill and Ben, he said smugly, Why didn't poor Christy have over bloody Jack Frost? Soon Christy made her final delivery. The station master was pleased to see her. Oh Christy, he cried, we need twice as much coal to last through this freeze. Don't worry, said Christy. This is my last stop. Mine. Christy went into a siding and her bunker was soon emptied. She was still thinking about what Bill and Ben were telling her earlier. What if Jack Frost does find me? She thought, but she was too tired to care, and she soon went to sleep. But later that night, the icy wind howled. It started to snow. Soon, Christy's face was so cold, an icicle hung from her nose! <laughs> Christy stuttered, but it didn't sound like Christy. It was so cold, she could hardly make a sound! Finally, Brad was on his way home. In the fog, he saw shadows and strange and scary shapes. Jack Frost, he muttered to himself. Why the hell would he want to go after Christy? <coughs> muttered Christy icily. Scary Jack Frost, Brad screamed, and he raced away as fast as his wheels could carry him. He didn't stop until he got back to the sheds. The next morning, the Valgear trio were passing through the station when they saw the frozen Christy still in her siding. Holy moly! Whoa! Bloody hell, Christy! said Clarkson. It looks like Jack Frost really kicked your bottom, didn't it? Clarkson gave Christy some of his coal and the firelight started her fire. Soon, Christy's ice melted away. Much better.
to... Said Christy. You know what they say, Christy. Said May. Kill with fire! Said Hammond. Everyone laughed. <laughs> Later, Christy found Brad at Edwards Station. I hear you saw Jack Frost last night. Said Christy. Oh, she even knew my name! Said Brad nervously. She also knows you ran away! Smirked Christy. Brad said nothing as he left. But secretly, the autistic one knew that the Jack Frost he saw was Christy all along!